An important milestone in First Energy's Ohio rate case is well underway here in Columbus. The evidentiary hearing for First Energy's proposed electric security plan continues at the Public Utilities Commission of Ohio. It's an ideal opportunity for First Energy to demonstrate why the plan they're calling Powering Ohio's Progress will help keep electricity reliable and affordable for many years to come. Bill Ridman is First Energy's Vice President of Rates and Regulatory Affairs. The plan, he says, will help safeguard customers as energy prices rise over time. The primary benefits of the CSP is it provides for an economic stability program and that provides for uh, price stability for our customers and also less volatility for our customers. At the same time, it provides for increased reliability, um, more economic development, and also provides for continuation of Ohio jobs. Our Ohio utilities will buy the output from our Samus and davis Bessie plants at cost, and then they will sell that power into the market. The net difference between what we receive from the market and what we pay FES for the cost is either a charge or a credit to our customers. Don Mull, First Energy's Senior Vice President of Fossil Operations and Environmental, explains why preserving modern, efficient coal and nuclear plants is essential to Ohio. We took a look at the assets within the state of Ohio that primarily had served Ohio customers. We looked for reliable base load generation. We looked for different fuel types so that we could offset volatility of a marketplace that's primarily driven by gas. So we have a nuclear plant, it's got two years of fuel in the core. We've got a coal plant with 30 days on the coal pile. It adds that reliability benefit. It supports jobs in the state of Ohio. It supports the local communities, economies, and it supports the tax base for the local school districts. The competitive marketplace right now isn't properly valuing what baseload plants like Samus and davis Bessey really provide in the way of reliability and economic benefits to the local area. So uh, we're down here uh, meeting with uh, the PUCO, part of the hearing process of uh, our ESP, and part of that's an economic stability program designed to provide certainty for these plants while it flows benefits back to our customers against volatility and rising prices. According to Ray Evans, Vice President of Environmental and Technologies, First Energy is committed to protecting the environment and is well positioned to meet all current regulations. Our generation fleet is well positioned for compliance with current environmental regulations. We operate state-of-the-art controls at our generating facilities and meet all the requirements of current regulations. Nearly 100 percent of our uh, generation comes from low and non-emitting sources. That includes uh, well-controlled coal-fired generation, nuclear generation, hydro, and gas. SAMUS is equipped with scrubbers and NOx controls, in particular SCR and SNCR NOx controls. The uh, controls were recently installed in the 2005 through 2011 timeframe. Thus, they are the latest and most state-of-the-art controls available to the industry. The evidentiary hearing is expected to continue here in Columbus well into October, with a commission decision likely coming early next year.